explorer stories are some of my favourites, pushing into uncharted territory with a ragtag cast of characters tackling the unknown. Edmund, Hillary and Sherpa Tengzing Norgay's scaling of Mount Everest, or Rald Amundsen's first reaching of the South Pole. Fictional stories like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, The Abyss, Disney's rendition of Atlantis, El Dorado, Outer Wilds, Subnautica, Uncharted, Indiana Jones, and The Goonies. Yes, The Goonies. They all have this feeling I attach to them. The unknown treasures that lay beyond a certain peril. The Pale Beyond joins this pantheon. So what is The Pale Beyond? It's a story-driven resource management game that sees you take the role of Robin Shaw, the first mate on the expedition to find the Viscount, a ship lost five years ago on that expedition. A mysterious benefactor has funded this expedition. Why now? What happened to the Viscount? You quickly become in charge of running the ship and are tasked with managing the crew's resources to help them survive. The hand-drawn art style is reminiscent of those old animated movies. I can't help but think of Disney's Atlantis. Each character is bursting with personality and completely individual. I can't undersell this as the presentation is so important in this title. The charm and authenticity of the characters is paramount to what the game is seeking to achieve by creating a genuine believability to the crew. The score is sublime and Borderline carries some sequences, but doesn't manage to get in the way. This may feel like the case at the start, but by the end, as the weight of loss and the journey just taken reaches its climax, the score helped to wrangle tears from this broken man. Old sailor songs bond you to the crew, and dramatic orchestral arrangements heighten already dramatic scenes. <laughs> The sound is also exceptional. The ship rocks, wind blows, doors creak and latches rattle, giving life to the ship and the frozen waters unexplored. The game isn't voice acted, and this wasn't an issue because the writing is just so strong. As with many of the great works of fiction, The Pale Beyond pulls at your heartstrings with believable characters that have loved, lost, harboured deep-seated insecurities and loyalty. It's the foundation of this title's greatness. Within the first 30 minutes of playing, the art, sound and writing had me deeply invested in the crew, their motivations and keeping them all alive. The need to preserve them only deepened from there. So how do we keep them alive? You have three main resources you need to keep as high as you can for the crew to survive. Decorum, which is this game's version of morale, hunger and warmth. It's your job to make sure the crew have enough to survive. This gameplay loop is a challenging one as you always feel like you don't just quite have enough resources to be comfortable. At the end of each week, you can use more or less of your remaining rations. Add less to the pot and a member will become malnourished, which untreated will become scurvy. And left a week, well, that will be one less crew member on your vessel. The same is said for freezing and frostbite. On the flip side, you can add extra rations to help cure some of your crewmates from the minor ailments and boost decorum, but this leaves you with less starting resources at the beginning of your next week. A difficult challenge for sure. 40 weeks worth of minor decisions culminate in something much larger by the end. One decision had me sit there for a real five minutes, weighing up what on earth I should do, retreading past conversations, their motivations, shortcomings, and their capabilities, desperately trying to discern the best course of action for two of my beloved characters to survive. Drawn static characters had me in tears as I was let into their own small world in the most drastic of circumstances. Daughters that never knew their father at sea, he emboldened with the desire to survive, to make up for his fleeting existence in their lives, to return to make amends. All of this to be considered when making decisions that can tear them from life. And if you fail, it makes the experience truly tragic. They no longer feel like a mere resource. Sending out a particular crew member on a hazardous mission has so much more weight to it. The game is unforgiving and people will die on your first run. I found myself making a few mistakes in the mid-game that led me to wasting resources, as certain systems didn't interact how I thought, causing me to lose two crew members. This had an inevitable snowball effect. 
one of my casualties was a scout, meaning I only had two of a possible three scouts scouting to find resources. The other, a scientist, which meant I could no longer create medicine that could instantly heal crew members that have status effects. As the harsh environment throws more curveballs at you, the smaller mistakes can be fatal for a playthrough, and my first playthrough had a complete frostbite pandemic wipe out my entire crew, causing decorum to plummet and a game over screen. This all sounds stressful, but it was actually fascinating to see how survival can depend on razor-thin margins. What the Pale Beyond nails is the ability to rewind to an earlier week and pick up from there. With my new accrued knowledge and further mechanical understanding, I finished the game with two deaths. This loop again feeds back into the importance of the individual as both a person and a genuine functional part of the crew, important and valued. Because of my ability to rewind to a later week, it gives the game so much more replay value. You could comfortably play the game a few times and have a completely different ending, or rewind a few weeks before a big decision to see how things could have played out differently. There is a poetry to the Pale Beyond. As each week passes, you add to your journal and choose how you want to portray the experiences of the past. The final act has everything preceding it boiled to a crescendo. The way you have played will greatly influence your ending, of which there are many. After my first completed run, I sat with my journey, my decisions, my losses, for days after credits rolled. Like with any great fiction, meaningful connections can stick with you. The Pale Beyond's ability to curate a story like this, wholly unique to you, is a homage to its excellent presentation and execution. A benchmark for what can be achieved within interactive storytelling. Another timeless explorer story that joins the greats. <laughs> A frozen arse, hard as rock, no thaw and soon. Never tells which way is south.